Hello, this is Screencast to show you how to uh, start saving a history of your JS bins. Um, something that I purposely avoided in JS bin for a long time. Um, I'm trying to explore whether or not uh, we can uh, save a history without actually having to get you to register. Um, this is still in the beta features, so if this doesn't work out or um, it really doesn't seem like a sensible idea compared to actually having a login, um, then it will be thrown away, but it's based on your feedback. So this has just been um, uh, visited for the first time. So I've uh, used Google's incognito mode to actually have a fresh um, fresh version of JSBin. If I open up the uh, web inspector tool, so uh, tools, uh, JavaScript console, um, hopefully you already know about the uh, JSBin features are inside of this JSBin global object inside of uh, uh, JSBin. To start saving um, your a history of your bins, you need to do uh, set home. So um, home takes two parameters. First one is the the tag name or the name, like your own name or I don't know a company name or something. And the other one is a key. The key is completely unique to you. Um, it gets encoded and stored in a database. You can look at the source, all open source. You can see that we're not storing any passwords that you give us. Um, and it's just, it drops a cookie on your machine and um, just uses that to kind of retrieve your location. But the thing is, if I set a key, so if I do, um, my home is going to be foo and bar is going to be the uh, the key. It's told me that foo as a um, home tag is available. Now my browser is now set to foo. So to see that, the moment, the only visual cue is if I refresh the browser, if you look up here in the corner by uh, uh, by the icon, you can see foo at, and then it reads out the um, uh, the document title. So this tells me that this particular session is tied to uh, the foo username. What that means is if someone comes along later on and go uh, um, sticks in um, uh, Remy Sharp as the key, It'll check for availability and say it's already been taken or the key isn't correct. So the point is I can now set my home tag in Firefox, Opera and so on. And all of those browsers will, will um, save my JS bins against that foo username. So let's just save this. Let's say uh, my first saved file. Hit save. Okay. And the URL is exactly the same as you'd expect. But if I go to jsbin.com slash list, you can now see I've got uh, these accounts. I made this one a couple of weeks ago. You can see seven seconds ago, my first file saved. So it tries to grab little bits of the uh, the HTML. If there's no HTML, it take bits of the JavaScript. It'll look for document titles and so on. Um, I'm thinking of upgrading this to look for the meta description element, if, we, if you want to use that. Um, and it'll just keep that complete history there. So... Um, Let's add a version that doesn't have any JavaScript and what do you think? Hit save again. Okay, you can see I'm still saved under foo at and if I refresh my home URL, you can see it's linked them all underneath this um, this oak car URL and if you look on the other side over here, you can see the preview of the rendered page. So this is the one, this is rendering the JavaScript and this is rendering uh, just the, the HTML because I got rid of the JavaScript. So this uses the same technique as the real-time preview. It strips out the alerts and the prompts, anything that will kind of sit over the page um, and slow things down. And you can click on one of these uh, uh, these items in a list and it will jump to that URL. And um, The other nice thing is if I open up a normal uh, browsing window, I can go to jsbin.com and I can do foo list and I'm not, I'm not uh, associated to foo uh, Foo's uh, JS bin in this window. This is my regular browsing experience, and I've, I've tied it to REM already. Um, but I can look at Foo's um, history. I can see what you've saved. And the point is, I can then share that with someone else. Um, if you want, you can have a look at my own uh, uh, saved file. So, save JS bins. You can see just REM slash list, and you'll see ones that I've saved over the last week or so. So, um, that's the new uh, way of saving or creating some kind of history in JS bin. Let me know what you think. Um, I have an issue uh, logged in GitHub that's discussing this technique. Um, I'd love your feedback. 
if you think that this really needs a login and tell me. Obviously, um, this kind of system, there's no password reminder, there's no recovery. Once you set the keyword, it, it, it's stored, and unless you kind of get in touch with me directly, you won't be able to change that key. Um, there's nothing hard coded inside of these um, these bins that are saved. It's a completely separate table. You can look at the source code, see what I've done, um, maybe improve on it, maybe give me suggestions, whatever. So let me know what you think. Um, hopefully this is useful to uh, some of you. It's certainly helping me kind of go back through the history of just bins I've got. Um, I want to add things like being able to hide ones that you don't really care about anymore. Um, but yeah, give me your feedback, okay? Cheers for watching.